Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X dot E dot L dot O. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, definitely like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so I'll let you know when I drop another video. And today I'm gonna actually show you how to get FL inside of Cakewalk. Yes, I'm gonna use FL inside of Cakewalk. Let's get started. Let me show you how we do it. Let's go. All right, so here we are in Cakewalk. This is a blank slate. Um, of course, you know, there are several ways to pull up a VST inside here. You can go to your uh, plugins over here on uh, the right hand side. My face is probably over it right now, but you hit on your plugins, you go to instruments, and you go to tools. In here, inside tools, I know you've probably seen this if you have uh, FL Studios installed on your computer. Even if you have the free version where you're not actually paying for it, this will still work. All right. So uh, basically, these VSTIs will let you use FL Studio inside of Cakewalk by BandLab. So you can do it from this side. You can actually do it from the plus sign and just go to instruments and you just uh, choose on the FL Studio VSTI Multi or the VSTI. So this, the one without the multi is just like a stereo out for FL Studio and this one actually lets you manipulate each track up to 16 uh, inside of FL Studio. So uh, let's actually do that. So let's go into instruments. I'm gonna do the multi. Um, I'm gonna hit this advanced option here I like to create a folder for it because I'm gonna do more than one out so I'm gonna do the 16 outs so we have 16 tracks that we're actually doing right and we're gonna do an instrument per track out um, you can do a split instrument track um, but I'll show you how to actually do that a little bit later in the video itself to make you actually uh, record your stuff inside of uh, cake all right so let's create that All right, so here we are. Uh, we have uh, 16 outs. Uh, usually if you have the one with the MIDI, you'll have like a MIDI option for it, but I like to do it this way uh, just because it'll get a little messy still, uh, even with, with it like this, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's go and open the actual FL Studio VSTI, and this is actually what it looks like. a little under my transport here all right so um there's not much to it you have your it's telling me i have 16 out by two so basically mean each track out has a stereo out um you can do an offset of your time itself so if you wanted it to actually start on like your two your, your second bar you can actually set it up here um but you don't really need to so if you hit on this little icon for FL Studio, it'll actually bring up FL Studio itself inside of Cakewalk. So I'm gonna move this over. All right. So if you do have a full-fledged copy of FL, of FL Studio, I just suggest that you actually make a template and actually save it uh, in here. So it'll make it a lot easier for you when you actually come back in here. If you are a person that does not have a uh, full version of FL, then it's not gonna work. So, because you can't save uh, your presets and things in here if you don't have, if you're not paying for the actual version of FL. So if you are actually uh, doing that, then if you do have a full version, go to the file and you do with your save as, and you would just make an FL uh, file in here. So basically you wanna set everything up first and then actually do that. So what I like to do is go to the mixer. This little icon here is for your mixer in FL. And this master one is actually gonna go out to the um, FL1, as you see here at the bottom. But I don't want that to do, I don't want it to do that. So I'm gonna hit on none for that, right? So basically we're not 
sending anything out through the master bus of FL. So everything we want is from the actual tracks itself. So this one doesn't have anything on it. So I'm gonna change this one to one, two, All right, so now we have uh, 10 of them actually in here. Um, so I'm gonna close the mixer. I'm not gonna do all of them, so uh, I stopped at the drums, right? And as you see, it's actually coming out of 10 because 10 was where I stopped. So now that track is actually linked to to that. So now, if I wanted to, I can actually just go inside a cakewalk here. I can close this, I can close this, and just go to this first track and actually just play from this MIDI keyboard. And I can go to the next one. And I can actually even record. I, I like to start on the two. Uh, the reason that is is because the, the MIDI and everything has to actually catch up to actually play out correctly. So I'll show you. Um, so we'll start on the two, right? When we actually start recording. So let's record this real quick. And it works just like any other like VST you're actually using in here. So I'm gonna hit record. All right. So I can take that off, and now I can start from the two. And that's the recording directly into Cakewalk. Uh, you can actually do this uh, several other ways. Like if you actually go back into FL, right? And let's say I wanted uh, let's go to let's go to the pad, right? Actually, let's go to the drums. And let's say we wanted to do something with this. So let's go to the piano roll. And if you scroll down, you'll see that it has all the information over here. So there's our kick, um, our snare, and our clothes hat. So let's put some hats in here first. This is your paint tool, so you can kind of just paint them on here. All right? And um, let's do the kick. The snare. And you hold down control and you grab these and you can just um, um, hit, hold down the shift and grab it and drag it over. So now it should be four bars or two and a half bars. And so let's say um, we wanted to actually play with our song up here. You want to put it in song mode. Right, so now that it's in song mode, you have your pattern here. I can just start it on the two, and it looks like we need to extend it out so I can just put another pattern right net, right behind it. So now I have two patterns there that'll match up with this uh, in Cakewalk, 
and it's actually following the tempo of cakewalk it's not actually following this 140 so if you are wondering that it is actually synced with uh cakewalk's time and you can check that by going into your options and going to audio settings and it says slave tempo so basically it's being a slave to cakewalk's tempo and it's telling you uh, it's linked to cakewalk here all right so now let's go back into cakewalk and if i hit play it should actually start doing the drums as well And as you hear, that is horrible, but it's just giving you an idea of what you can actually do inside of uh, Cakewalk using FL. So, so now we have that as well. So we have two things in here uh, that we're actually that we've actually done. And one was using actual Cakewalk, and the other one is actually using FL. So it's coming out of FL in here um, to actually get it into Cakewalk. You have to actually make it into a wave if you have all your stuff laid out inside of FL. And the way to do that is if you would right click on this and you're going to go to split instrument track. Um, if you have any other way that you guys know about, please let me know. But currently, this is the only way that I know to actually get it to come through. And if you hit on this little waveform preview, it'll actually even show you how the drums will look. Uh, when it actually comes out. So I'm just going to hit play. All right. So now, uh, if you actually wanted to record this, you would just hit record on here. You can take this off. I hit record on here and actually go up to cakewalk and then hit record and it's going to actually record that in here. So now you have your actual wave file of the drums uh, inside of Cakewalk now. So if you wanted to do that for this, you would have to do the same thing. If you wanted it for the MIDI part, you would have to actually create it, make it into a, uh, a split channel. Uh, so far, that is the only way I've found to get it to where you can actually record the MIDI and keep it inside of a uh, Cakewalk. And you would need this if you're actually, if you don't have, um, a paid for version of FL Studio or a legit version. Um, so basically you can have all your sounds in from your, uh, so you can have all your sounds from FL Studio inside of Cakewalk by BandLab. Uh, and this is the easiest way that I found to actually get it done. So the, the beauty of this is that you get to use anything that FL has inside of it. So let's say that you wanted to, um, you want to use something else instead of this basic thing here you can uh you right click on it and you can hit replace and you can even use um flex on afl's new um, plugins that they actually have in here i think it's pretty good so here we go and flex And let's go to that channel, which is the first one. Really nice sounds inside of Flex. And you know, if you want to record that, you can just record it. You can just hit on this uh, record button, hit record up here.
All right, and there you go. Now you have your uh, stuff from Flex actually inside here. And like I said, if you wanted to um, actually get it to stay in Cakewalk, like, like me, I can actually save it uh, in FL. I can actually save this as a, I can actually save this as a template in here and save it uh, in FL. So the next time I come in here, it'll have this same setup that I currently have. Uh, seeing, like I said, not everybody actually has a full version of FL. What you want to do is right click on here and you want to split instrument track. And once you do that, now you will have that option to actually create the WAV file from it. You can just view it if you want to, or you can actually record it if you want to. It's pretty much up to you. If you wanted to ch change this, you can go inside of FL, um, <laughs> Cakewalk's Piano Wall. Ah. Cakewalks piano roll. <laughs> and as you see, for some reason, everything started like super early. So, and you can actually fix your MIDI in here and it'll actually sync up with FL still. So now, Let's go start at the two and yes, I know it is terrible sounding right now, but this is like I said, just for demonstration purposes, let y'all know that you can actually have FL set up in here. So now I want to actually keep this. So I want to uh, record and then hit record on here. If you wanted the tail, you can actually have the tail, but you can actually just cut this and boom. Now you have the wave file of the actual sounds. So there you have it, uh, ladies and gents. So now you can actually just go and download FL Studios. Like I said, you don't have to have the, the paid for version. This will this will actually work the same way for the free version. Uh, like I said, the only difference is if you are if you want to uh, keep what you've actually done, you're gonna have to make them into WAV files in here, or you can keep the MIDI. But if you keep the MIDI and save this file and save this, it's gonna go back to the default in FL. So if you changed anything inside of FL itself, like see, I changed it to flex. If I open this back up, it's not gonna have flex there. It's gonna have the, the basic general one that it actually uh, started off with. So like I said, uh, this is just a quick demonstration just to show y'all guys that you can actually set up FL inside of Cakewalk by Bandlab and use it as a VST. If you have like any questions or concerns about any of the process, definitely hit me below in the comments. I know I'll get back to y'all on those. And make sure y'all like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and that'll let you know when I drop another video, anything like this. All right? And once again, it's your boy X.E.L.O. Peace.